Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about Among Us, obviously. I'm going to split up the video into three different... Oh yeah, first off, I want to say the background is it's only showing off the astronaut skins that I have in Fortnite because I don't have any gameplay of me playing Among Us. So anyways, that's already like a fourth of the um, video that I have. So Among Us, I'm going to be splitting up into three different topics. Um, gameplay customization and um like basically ways to win strategy strategy i'm gonna start off with customization customization it's a pretty wide variety of different customization um at least on the mobile i play on mobile i don't have on the pc uh, there are multiple colors they could choose from i think there are 10 or more probably just 10 um like from red to black, white, and stuff like that. But the only thing is, if someone else already has the color that you picked when you go in there, you will probably get the color that is the opposite of that one. For example, let's say you choose black when you go in and someone already has that, you'll have white. Or if you go in with, I don't know, red, you'll probably have blue. Is that the opposite? I'm not too sure. Um, there's a bunch of different hats that you could choose from, you could have, or just headgear, headwear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for example, I use the bandana, um, there's like a do-rag, there's a, a robot antenna that you have, or stuff that's not even, like, stuff that you put on your head. Well, there's an egg, there's a banana peel, stuff like that. Um... You could have suits, but you have to buy them, the suits, and you also have pets, but you also have to buy the pets, so if you want to further customize your character, there's that. Um, next, we're on to gameplay. Gameplay mechanics, you can really just change it. You, If you're the lead party league, you could change it. Oh, I can't even speak. The most amount of people that could be in your Among Us game are 10. You could play with randoms, or you could play private and give your friends the code. Um, you could change the different amount of speeds. You could change the um, kill distance, whether that be super close, um, you know, mid, where you don't not super close, but you're also not like two f yards away. Then you could also just basically what do you call it just make it far away that you could kill them um what else uh I, oh now we're on to strategy now i was thinking of telling you guys exactly what i do but my friends will probably watch this video probably not they're fake like that they won't watch it anyways just in case of the off chance that they are watching it i'm just gonna tell you this try to separate um the people if you're an imposter separate them like strike gain make them gain your trust and also strike when it's unlikely that someone will strike i know it's kind of hard because everyone's gonna be on the high horse like legit if you even run past them they might report it and be like oh this person was following me um if you're in what's it called just a regular crewmate try to stick with someone and make sure that people see it. as soon as i don't know you leave the cafeteria probably run with someone so that if you die and someone sees that you guys were together they'll probably think it's them because you know you were with them the whole time and if they aren't the imposter then well then you should be safe Unless, you know, the imposters are smart and they kill you both at the same time. That's pretty all for, that's pretty much all for today's video, all I wanted to say. And, um, peace out.